It's algorithm time, so welcome back to the 5.0 Tesla YouTube channel. And here we go. We gotta learn how to do this kind of faster because we waste a lot of time doing do strikes. <laughs> oh, okay, good. What are we doing? Well, as you know by the title of the video, anti roll. Um, one thing I did want to do, and I have a mild fascination with weighing things. I want to know how much stuff weighs. I just It's just a thing over the years that obviously it's become a thing. So I like to know how much stuff weighs, how much weight we're adding from to the car, how much weight we're subtracting from the car, just out of curiosity. Um, and one of the things we have in our possession, oddly enough, three distinctly different anti-rolls. So we have the ancient comp engineering anti-roll that we are going to put on Trojan horse that John Baker kindly sent to us. We have the um, baseline bolt-in anti-roll that uh, I purchased with my money. And we have a Chinese UPR cop-off and uh that i bought off of ebay i should have bought it off amazon if you're gonna buy one of those please buy it off amazon so if you don't like what you see it is a whole lot easier to send it back or whatever if i would have bought it from amazon i would have sent it back and got had them send me another one and eventually i feel like i would have got one that was straight um but we didn't and going through ebay to try and get anything done if you've ever done that is completely a pain in the butt I'd rather just keep it and beat it with a hammer and see if I can make it kind of work and stuff like that. So anyway, but we can weigh them all because they're all different. So uh, let me get the scale out and I'll give you some weights on some of this garbage. First customer will be the comp. 12.5, okay. The baseline, 15.2. Last but not least, is our China UPR or our CPR and uh, 15.7. We drilled a couple holes. Um, this is what I was talking about. You see this overlap right here and then there's an overlap right there. The plates sandwich that overlap to give it additional strength. So now we gotta drill, you know, more holes. <laughs> Good times. Plates bolted in, fixing to finish this one off. We have got it bolted in, bolted in. Um, we may change this, I, every time I put this thing in, I say that, I'm gonna change like this bolt, put a shorter bolt in so it doesn't touch or anything like that. So anyway, there it is. We're gonna put some, it's right at the end right here. We're gonna put some fresh grease in the Zerks and rotate it around a little bit. And uh, then we're fixing to kind of take a look at where our end links are gonna drop. So, good times. Got it greased up. Um, and we've got some magnets kind of, we might not use these tabs. They have these kickouts on them, which are kind of nice, but as tight as the end links are on this thing, um, we might need the extra room by using just a, uh, a traditional tab. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, these are not technically the right size. We have to drill them out, but that's not a big deal either. But anyway, we do have it all bolted in, it's all tightened up, blah, 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 blah. We just gotta, just gotta do the weld in like, I mean, I'm not doing that. Someone else that can weld can do it. But, uh, or I will find someone. We have made a decision. We're gonna go ahead and do these. Um, I just drilled one out. Let's just, we'll just do that. It gives us more room, you know, to fit, to f make sure it's perfect. It's lined up about as good as we're gonna get it. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, next thing will be to get them welded on. Got them all drilled. We are checking some head bolt torques real quick. Got the valve cover off, we already checked. Couple lower ones, everything was good. I'm gonna check a couple top ones and then we're just gonna call that a winner. We uh, have also convinced Eric to burn in our anti-roll tabs. So 
we'll get that done in a day or two and um at that point we gotta drive it around all this kind of stuff but let me check these real quick and then maybe take it for a test drive they all check good so put the valve cover back on we've got some tires on them and we're gonna fire them up and let them warm up just a little bit take them off the jack stands and uh tighten everything up and then take it for a little test drive so the uh this is a cold start not not started yet. One of the main things is we have to see these aren't the tires we're going to race on, but they're decent sized. We need to see if anything's going to rub, and then we're going to have to put the race tires on and check them as well, see if we got to do some beating on it. This is like the fifth time I'm doing the outro and I'm tired of it already. So uh, we got back, to, we, we made it, but blah, blah, blah. I'm not in love with it. I'm just not in love with it. I'm, I'm, I'm not a power adder guy. I'm not in love with it, whatever. We'll see what happens. So uh, thanks for commenting, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the, guy, all the ways you guys support the channel. We couldn't do it without you and we wouldn't want to. The good news is, is I have a regulator that'll work great with a carburetor with this fuel system. This is keep that in mind. But especially in a. Thanks for watching. And until next time on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body videos. On this year, man's YouTube, one year, single plane, five speed, uh, 5.0 push rod, naturally aspirated Lincoln Town Cars, four drag vans. a big boost <clears throat> and fighting a good fight against some zombie mustangs and that rascal dr fear i'll see you guys in the next video maybe i'll be more inspired